President Trump again today criticized a caravan of migrants from Central America seeking asylum in the United States. The migrants have been stopped on the Mexico side of the border while supporters, including attorneys here in San Francisco, are trying to help them. ABC 7 News reporter Carolyn Tyler joins us from the newsroom with more. Carolyn. Well, Ama, this is not the first time there's been a caravan, but this one's become high profile in light of the president's stance on immigration. In San Francisco, it's Immigrant Day, a time of celebration and civic engagement at City Hall. The event is organized by the Immigrant Legal and Education Network, which empathizes with those now stuck at the U.S.-Mexico border. If they fear returning home, then we have laws on our books that say they have the right to um, to apply for asylum. The migrants, mostly women and children from Central America, have been traveling by train, bus, or on foot through Mexico for nearly a month. They've now reached the border at the San Diego crossing, but have been told by U.S. Customs the processing center is full. It's a showdown with the Trump administration. Just look at our southern border and our weak and obsolete immigration laws. They are obsolete and they are weak. Jehan Lehner Romero is a San Francisco attorney, one of dozens nationwide who traveled to Tijuana this weekend to advise the nearly 200 migrants who are refusing to turn back, determined to go through the established legal protocol. I think it's a really terrible position for the United States to take. It contravenes international law, and we are a beacon of hope for many people. She calls it a humanitarian crisis, but Howard Epstein of the San Francisco Republican Party believes it's an attempt to undermine the law. I don't think we owe it to them to process them. They they're want to come here. They should abide by our rules and our regulations and come as we allow them. Now, keep in mind, seeking asylum is a rigorous, a very lengthy process. Of the 200 cases from last year's caravan, only four were granted. In the newsroom, Carolyn Tyler, ABC 7 News.